Okay, so now we're doing the Scorpio new moon forecast for our fixed signs because the new moon is centered around the fixed sign Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moons, and risings. This new moon is about you establishing a new you basically a new identity i know that you have some toxic patterns that you finally have decided to let go of or you want to just start something new and something different with yourself personally and i'm not just talking about the outside even though you guys may be getting a new haircut or wardrobe or something like that or you could be pregnant at this time what i truly am saying is that you want to transform yourself into phoenix mode uh, physically mentally and spiritually like a total makeover. Like you want to rise from the uh, ashes and become this true, stronger, more resilient, more flashy phoenix, right? You want to say that you're in control of yourself. You're in control of your mind, your emotions, your eating habits. Because Scorpios secretly are major foodies. But with this Mars and Pluto opposition taking place in the third and the ninth house, which is like your higher mind and then like your lower mind, it's like this push and pull between what you normally think versus where you're trying to stretch your mind and go. Your habits versus some new techniques that you'll learn you know what i'm saying some new goals new aspirations new things that you can learn new philosophies and around this time you may get into a couple of arguments and a few fights with people within your vicinity your siblings um, your neighborhood people in your little area versus people from different backgrounds and philosophies i could see you getting into a lot of altercations with people who have a different philosophy than you have or a different philosophy that you're adapting but i see at this time what you truly desire is a new you a new mind and a new freedom in which you can express yourself no matter whose opinions are about it you know feeling comfortable in your individuality for some of you your sexuality but mostly, uh, most importantly, your spirituality, your spiritual man, feeling comfortable on the inside out, having your insides actually reflect your outsides, but this time in a healed way, not in a fractured way where you like wake up disgruntled because you still have those patterns of thoughts and habits and traumas within your DNA. You are transforming into a phoenix, okay? So keep your eyes on the prize. List some things down so that you can stay committed because when you write things down, Instead of type themes, they're more apt to happen quickly, quicker. My Aquariuses, my Aquariuses, sun, moon, and risings. I see that you want to do something new, like something new with your outer persona, something with your career, something uh, with your a new path. You want to take a new path. You want to do something different. You're trying to transform where you uh, want to go or where you feel the need to be. Like, I feel like you're polishing your outside. You know, you're polishing something. You're coming out with something new. And we all can't wait. I see that during this time, deep thought is going into the plans you have for your vocation, the plans that you have for your life purpose, the plans that you have or where you want to see yourself at maybe 10 years from now or 10 days from now because Aquarius is future oriented and you guys have the ability to bring the future here in this time. I feel like you guys want to be known for something different. You want to do something different with your outer appearance or you're doing something like a different business or you're remodeling a business or a look that you had. And around this time, you're going to be very, very magnetic. People are going to start coming to you for the answers and people will be like, oh, let me ask so-and-so because I know so-and-so is doing something different. And while you're like marching on, you're trying to get your bag and get things off the ground, I see that there's going to be a lot of opposition. There's going to be a lot of opposition between uh, you having your private time versus you having your work life. I also see that there are going to be some people who want to take over your private time and be like, okay, you need to be here at work. Your mind needs to be here. And you're like, wait a minute, motherfucker. I am Aquarius. You don't tell me when to take a break or when to work or when to stop working. I control that. I control that. But during this time, there does need to be a work-life balance. Your desire is to have a new career, to have a new outlook, to have a new bag, okay? But not at the expense of your health. Remember, your health comes first, especially for Aquariuses, your mental health comes first, okay? That's how you're truly going to transform and get into that Phoenix mode when it comes to your outer life, your public life, your career, your vocation, your public image. Leo's. I see that you want to get more in depth with 
um, your family, the family dynamics that you had. You want to get more in depth with finding out more things about your ancestry. You, you're trying to peel back the layers of the mystery surrounding your family, surrounding yourself, your inner world, your emotions, like you truly want answers. I feel that things may pop off when it comes to your family and you're going to have to decide where you draw the line out, what boundaries you have, and realize that you are nobody's footstool. I also see that you may be wanting to redesign the family that you have, or you're adding in new people who you consider family. So you're defining that type of thing. What is a home? What is a family to you? You're asking yourself those type of questions. What truly brings you comfort? What is your desire? Do you desire stability or transformation? You have to get out of that type of rut that you're in by taking chances, taking risks. I see at this time that you are in your spiritual closet. Like you really, you got something on your heart. You're praying, you do meditations or intentions or whatever you're into to deal with everyday challenges. I don't know what's happened at work or what's happened at home, but it's kind of like affecting the same things with you too, Leo. And it's like during this time when you have a vision of remaking uh finding a new home, remaking the home that you have, remaking the family that you have, piecing yourself back together. Your desire is to have the spiritual strength to know how and how to do it and carry that out. Redefining your foundation physically and emotionally and with family, if you consider them family now. Or you're like adding on a new family member. So I don't know if you're going to have a child or a pet or adopt somebody. But I also see that happening for Leo suns, moons, and especially rising. Last but not least, our Tauruses. Our Taurus suns, moons, and rising. I see at this time that you want to have like more one-on-one -on -one interactions in which you've you're more connected on an intimate level. Like you want to share deeper bonds with people. Like you don't want the fake shit. You want to see if somebody truly is there for you for who you are. You want to know their motivations. You want to know who they truly are. You want to reveal yourself to them and then reveal themselves to you and it be reciprocated in a healthy, transformative, uh, robust manner, by the way. I can see that if you're in a relationship right now, that you guys can be taking it up a notch in engagement or you may be finalizing some type of document or um, you may make it you may be making a commitment to something very important or someone during this time but during this time you must learn how to trust and most importantly who to trust that's the key who to trust who to trust now with this mars pluto opposition i see that it's happening in your third and your ninth house so i see that there's a change in communication that's taking place and you're bantering and you're going back and forth with people and possibly you could be even going back and forth with people on the internet from like a very long distance who's not even in this country like i see those type of confrontations taking place and i see like the other party trying to change your mind when it comes to um, what you think about leaders and leadership positions. I guess there are a lot of banters and it's like it's an intense exchange with people who are older than you, people who you consider your mentors or leaders. And there's like a lot of drama. I can even see like if you're at church or you go to college, there's going to be something to pop off there around that time tomorrow. So beware. But really your true desire is to get your point across to people and it be received well. Like you can interpret what the hell I'm saying without getting offended or we're both trying to ascend together in our relationship because if we're both not growing in the relationship then I'm going into another relationship and I know there are a hell of a lot of Tauruses that have a hell of a lot of admirers and if you're single I see a bunch of you single Tauruses focusing on uh, going back out there meeting somebody new there's a higher chance of meeting somebody new who can give you the intimacy that you crave from other people so that could be like a best friend that could be a business partner or that could be a actual partner good luck big signs